imagine your whole life is a TV show, but you are the only one who doesn't know it. And then clues start coming down and you start slowly stumbling on to it. And no, this is not a Twilight Zone episode. This is a film titled The Truman Show. Although it was inspired off a Twilight Zone episode in the 80s that starred David Naughton, the premise here was vaguely similar. But for some reason, this kind of reminded me of a 1960 episode of The Twilight Zone called The World of Difference. It, it's not quite as... It's not quite the same, but I just couldn't help see the world of difference it reminded me of the Truman Show about a guy who discovers his whole life is just a movie but everybody else knows it but him uh, never mind Jim Carrey plays Truman Burbank just a happy-go-lucky guy soon discovers that his world is not what it appears to be his wife played by Laura Linney is is kind of weird and doesn't know why she just announces everything, all the products she buys and announces it like it's a commercial. He see, he hears radio transmissions about fear of flying and um, I mean, and about leaving this, the town. I mean. <laughs> and of course we all know his whole life is a TV show and yet Truman slowly starts to stumble onto it. And it's, it's run by Kristoff, played by Ed Harris, who will do whatever it takes to keep the Truman Show running. <laughs> How will this all end? Good question. How will it end? Oh, wait. I'm not going to tell you because that would be a spoiler. No. This was a good movie. It's, it's not Jim Carrey's first dramatic performance. If you don't remember, he, he, gave, a, he gave a good, good dramatic performance performance in the TV movie Doing Time on Maple Drive in which he played an alcoholic and I heard he got rave reviews for that now I know we're all used to seeing Jim Carrey do comedy and now don't get me wrong there are a few funny moments in this movie but it's basically it's basically a dramatic performance Jim Carrey really makes you sympathize with him all the way I mean and, and and Ed Harris is Kristoff. He's he may come across as the bad guy, but he's not really um, he's not really menacing type bad guy. He's just he just wants to keep the viewers entertained. The fact that Truman is the only one who's unaware that his whole show is his his whole life is just a TV show. Laura Lenny was good. So was Nora Emmerich and Nastasha, who sort of informs Truman that his life is just. I forgot her last name, Natasha. Another lady in the show, in the movie, sort of informs Truman that her, that his, that his life is not what it is. Um, and there is a Paul Giamatti who makes an appearance as one of the crewmen who run helps run the Truman Show. Carrie got to work with Giamatti a year later in Man on the Moon. Well, Giamatti's career was kind of slowly taken off at that time. Truman Show is a good movie. I think Jim Carrey's performance is pretty enjoyable, and I think it's a classic that'll just go on for on for a long time. It's hard to believe it's been 20 years since this movie came out. I give The Truman Show a 10 out of 10. Good afternoon, good evening, good night.